then start off by hitting that subscribe button. When you do, tap the little bell icon next to it, that way you won't miss anything. And speaking of subscribing, I hope yeah. nobody don't go kill themselves over this, but it's just, it is what it is. But yeah, so, cool, okay, you, you know, you have my clearance of, you know, like clearance, clearing it up and, you know, using it, a photo or whatever for whatever you want is cool. Um, yeah. But that's why they took me in so much because they were like, uh, you have this person abuse you, you know, like, but I was stubborn as hell and I'm loyal as hell. So even though they kept saying like, hey, you know, we don't trust this relationship. Like, we don't think this guy is legit. You know, we've been trying to deal with him. He's been doing this to multiple people. Like, are you sure you're good? And I'm just like, I don't like throwing people under the bus. So I was like, no, I'm good. You know, like, I'm a grown ass kid at 17. <laughs> but, you know, so I was just in that. And then ultimately it did come out. And it wasn't until I decided, like, okay, this nigga is really like, I'm just not liking these vibes, not liking the spirit. I need to pull away, actually. You know, so when I decided to, like, stop talking to that guy, that's when, like, Dr. Matthew Stevenson was like, really like, okay, he obviously needs somebody and he needs to see that every church man is not like this, you know? Right, right. So that's where it came in. Hella people. I'm talking about I'm 17 and getting stuff that like 40 year olds are crying about. Like, oh, we can't say nothing to Jay because you defend him or we feel like he's mean and this and the other. Like, I am a Taurus. I can be asshole as hell stubborn as hell but like it is what it is you know like a lot of people are just sensitive as hell so that's why when i saw this video i was like wow this is it's shocking to see like to actually see and hear and stuff like that like you know on a video um but i have always understood people like i, I and or, even if i didn't like i just didn't care you know so i was just like this sucks to have to hear it. And, and my only part was like, uh, having to hope that Micah or Nyla, which are the kids, like, don't, you know, come across this because I'm literally their brother. So they, they grew up, they literally were born thinking that I am their blood brother. Mm -hmm. So I knew them before. Nyla was eight months when I met her. She's 11 now. So... Michael was not even here. Karis was not even here. You know, so they don't. Obviously, they grow up and they're like my brother. So if I would, if they were to see this and their father and like gay and you know like this and the other, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be like, huh? <laughs> so that was my only concern. I don't care. Like you could have everybody in Chicago talk about me. That's that's not gonna stop me or affect me. You know, in any way. Um, so that was my only thing. Just like, uh. But at the same time, like, you know, I understood y'all was like, you vlogging, you got information or people want, that's why I'm like, whatever. If I had YouTube and shit like that, like, trust me, people say shit, like, I'm not concerned. I'm like singing, make your money, black man. Like, that's just where you at, whatever. Um, but I did want to at least, at least talk to you because no matter what you said, I'm like, okay, no matter what he said or how he said it, like, I do sense some type of genuine spirit in there. So I do feel like if I do reach out to him or talk to him, at least he's going to hear me out and not just be like, ooh, let me, like, hear you out so I can start some more shit. Like, you know, I was like, okay, he's probably going to hear me out. Like, he seemed like he at least wants to know wants to know because it's a lot of shit and questions right and, and so the reason why and I'm, I'm glad you did reach out to me well hold on wait i did reach out to you and yeah. i wanted to find out just you know the the um, the the, tr <laughs> the truth i wanted to find out what was what because i mean honestly um yeah. i wanted to find out the validity of everything because again you know, I mean, me looking at the pictures, I know I had a spiritual father, too. And like it was just because, OK, I'll say this. I wanted to find out what was up because I know my, I know how my spiritual father was. I knew how the, the church game worked. I knew what was all up. I had already heard things about him. And I was like, no, this is going to be dad for real. Uh, I remember I was walking in the house one time. And um, 
just going by there to, you know, go try to handle the day-to-day business for him and see if they needed anything. And so I was sitting in the den, which it was like you walk in the house, walk in this like little foyer area, and then there's like a little sitting area, then there's the dining room, then there's like another sitting area. So I was in that sitting area. I saw her come out and she kind of looked at me like, bitch, what the fuck you doing here in my house? And so I look back like, you know, in my head, I knew what was up. And so I look like, hey, mom, what's up? I'm here. So we she and I built a relationship genuinely like mother and son. And I had a conversation with her and I let her know. I was like, look, mom, like, I don't care what. I look at you as mom and that's dad. I don't know what the rest of these niggas and done. That's not about to go down here. So we've always been cool like that um, until he crossed me one time. And we've always been able to have that relationship. You know, like we we just share and we talk about everything. He's, you know, said them some things to me and I've told him my whole life and just kind of like vomited on him. Oh, woe is me kind of stuff. And so it was just that. And so one day he, um, someone saw something on my Facebook and they just printed it out and sent it to him. And so he tried to, he tried to shame me in front of all the elders. Like, Oh son, what's this? I was saying to myself, bitch, you know the fuck I'm gay. Like this ain't nothing new. And so he was like, so what's this, son? What's this? I mean, is there something you need to tell us? And I looked at him and I laughed. Yeah. And I was like, are you serious? And I put my head down and I just yeah. started shaking my head. And so he was like, well, you need to get in front of the church and tell the church this. Or if you don't get in front of the church, you know, you're going to be set down. Um, you, you, you either need to tell the church that you're gay or you're not gay. And I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Yeah. One thing I'm not going to do is tell anybody my business. That's right. what I'm not going to do. Right. Um, obligated to. right. And so I ended up, you know, trying to have a conversation with him. And the end result is I left and it was word shared. It was back and forward stuff. And then, you know, I was like, you know what? Let me just go make this. This is after a year. Let me just go make this right. We talked. <laughs> And, you know, we was cool, but it was just still like that vibe. They're like, yeah, I can't really trust you all the way, but eh, okay. But anyways, um, I understand. I understand that relationship. I just, for me, I know how his wife was. And so it was never the fact of I'm, we're going to take a picture like we hugged up. And so that was, that was the major question. I was like, um, like, do y'all let this happen or something? Yeah. Right. And so, like, everybody was asking, it was like, well, why? I said, hey, I don't know. It looked like boo pictures. You know, they all, you know, it like he just snuck a picture. And so, that, you know, everybody was like, well, Mari, you are you alluding? I said, I don't know what the hell to believe right now. I mean, right. I'm like, I like Matthew Stevenson, and he already took a shot at me already. So, I'm waiting for him to respond because, you know, I, move. I'm waiting for him to respond verbally and say whatever the hell he need to say. Because first of all, I'm like this right here. Um, I like him. You know, I think he's a great preacher and all of that. My main reason even for responding to this is because when I heard about him kicking you out the house and I was like, he, what, what I heard was he kicked you out the house because you were doing drag you were gay and you didn't want to get delivered. And I was like, so I'm like, bitch, you got gay niggas in your church. What the fuck? Yeah. So that was my main reason for even like, yeah, responding and, and to this. And that's what made me accept it because trust me, nobody has, that's what I'm saying, outside of his wife, like, nobody really knows him the way I know him or I've seen him at least in that light like you know it, and it's just and that's why I explain you know even to my fiance because he is from Chicago and his family is also in the church and he was like you know like some people are asking me like you know be careful with Jose because uh, he come from all nations so you know that has either a really good uh, reputation or really bad there's no like really kind of in the middle at this stage um, that's why I said, like, eight, 
10 years ago before there was nothing and when we had like 40 people come to church like it was a lot different you know now when there's thousands of course stuff change and people evolve um but i know exactly and it's right because i've talked to him and i was like when he had to come at me like you know like you know this is sin blah 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 i hope this relationship don't like part of me understood his voice as a father um, because me, I'm very protective. So there's sometimes where I feel like I'm going to hurt your feelings now to save you later. So I kind of get that personality. But um, ultimately, you just can't be like that everywhere or corporately. So that's why I told him all the time, you know, I was like, oh, when you say stuff over the mic, it's just it that's not going to ever be received well, because you're going to have. 700 different personalities 700 different perspectives 700 different lifestyles histories all of that so people are going to interpret it however they want to you know so i understand he's rough and trust me i've gotten into him and i had to literally i had no shame in getting at him because i've never been like chasing fame or acceptance or things like that you know and what people didn't know or even didn't like is how affectionate but he that's the thing he was affectionate with all his all his sons but i was just really like you know honestly i was the favorite and he even says it of course he won't ever tell nobody else but like he had to really break it down one day like jay like i'm like this to you because you're literally like outside of my family like the one person that i really like took in and love he's like i've done more for you than i did for apostle bj which is his right hand man who's also you know well not also because now he's delivered and you know from homosexuality all of that so um there was just a bunch of that and i've had people from the church all the time and it's so funny because even with the situation with the with this you know prophet that was gay and you know manipulated all of that there were people that like contact him like oh yeah well jay just wanted this or didn't want this and i'm like sitting there like what the fuck like i'm hearing all this shit and not one person and i know it comes from leadership or not even leadership or not like you have to sit there and tell like if you go into my business the only way i'll be cool with it is if one i gave you approval or you came to me you had a conversation be like hey jay what's going on this is what's going on okay this is bad or this is good and then you decide to share it. it's still not gonna be right but the fact that people are sharing so much without literally asking me how you doing like there's so many people i haven't seen in years but i hear from other people like um so and so said you left because of this and I'm like, it's so funny because they haven't even said, like, like you know what, there's just too much stuff that I just am not feeling um, how things are situated, handled. And as that moment, that's what I said, I stopped going to All Nations in, like, 2016, mm-hmm. um, which is literally, like, two years before I moved. And people are like, you know, oh, you did this or you did that. And I, trust me, I don't call, and people don't like it because I would call them out on their crap all the time. And they'll be like, you know, I would literally sit there and make a status or even tag people and be like, please, nobody come at me when we have quote unquote sons that I see continually at the club who are still singing on worship team, who are still armor bearing, who are still in leadership. So please, you know, and that's the reason people really don't kind of come for me because they know like I'm kind of not the one to get in a verbal like altercation with because I'm just fair. I'm just fair. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I'm okay with that, you know? But So Jose, uh, this 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 yeah. is where this is because I'm I'm not gonna I'm really not gonna drag you down this road of, you know, in, in these videos of, you know, trying to say that you're his boo mm-hmm. or you his bae or whatever. I'm not gonna do that. Mm-hmm. I just honestly wanted to find out the validity behind these pictures, who are you yeah. and everything like because I, yeah. I wanna at least give you that much respect because I I'm not honestly I'm only messy to be funny and to get yeah. the news. I yeah. am trust yeah I I totally do not take offense at that. that's why I wanted to have a conversation. And even and I'm mature enough to even say, hey look, like 
even if I gave my truth and talked to this dude and he didn't receive nothing, as long as I told him what it is, I done my part. You know, I wiped my hands. Like, I could only tell the truth and what people do with that. And I, you know, contrary to popular belief, like, yes, you can be gay and still believe in God and still trust and still have, you know, faith bases. You know, so I'm like, the truth is the truth, you know. And I just want to make sure, like, hey, guys, at least not here and... I can only, I cannot ever validate every person, I mean, his, his every action, you know? Right. I can't sit there and be like, he would never, because honestly, I don't know. There's some things that I did in the moment that I said I would never do. Right. But when push came to shove, I saw myself doing shit that I'm like, oh, wow, I never said I'll do that, but I didn't realize, you know, it was in me or something. So I cannot validate that, but I can always say, if it was brought to me, I really, really, really highly doubt it. Like, if there was a chance that it could have happened, it would have happened with me. And, you know, like, he can walk around the house with no shirt on and I there would be no sexual attraction for me. And, yes, I can look at him and be like, he is not an ugly person. But because I see him so much with, like, like paternal love... That's literally like if I was to look at my father and be like, oh, you know, I want to screw you. Like, it's just it's for me. It's not possible as well as him. Like, and if you've seen a picture, he's, he's posted it before, like of him and his dad and his brother and them three are laying in the bed as grown men, because that's the type of affection that his dad like showed his physical biological. Do you body. happen to have a picture like that? Because then I, I if you I can, if you can get it. Send it to me so at least I can, you know, use that to say, hey, you know, he's done that with his siblings and his family before that. That's only for that purpose. Just that. Um, and so and so. Let, so let me say this. So, I mean, that's that's cool. I got that part covered. Um, and so you so I can just have this. So I'm going to make a video, but I'm just waiting. I'm one waiting for his response on Sunday because one, I'm going to go ahead and, and kind of sum up all of this with you. But with him, um, he just likes to clap back at people. And I, I think yeah. as as a a person who is growing and, and a person of his caliber and where he is like, that's yes. not going to be good for him in the long run. Right. Because right. a lot of people is going to look it. They're they're going to look. Well, they are looking at him, like, yeah. okay, you really queening out right now. Yeah. You know, like you're really yeah. queening out, and to shame people because of their their size, their hair, their makeup, or whatever yeah. the case may be, that's not a good look. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's not a and good look. And even if you want to stay with that, like that's my father, I will protect him to the day I die. But I also love truth more than anybody or anything. And I've had conversations. I'm like, Ugh, you mean as hell sometimes. Like the shit you say is really slick. <laughs> um, and like if you were still on 63rd and Cottage, like you would get, you know, yo. Well, you, I don't know. You're probably not from Chicago. But if you were still in the hood, like, you know, this wouldn't ride. But I've told him before, I'll, you know, like, hey, some of the stuff that you say is just really, like, it's you got to grow up. You got to grow up. Right. And so partially it's just like, I love him. I will always defend him unless if you are in the wrong, you are in the wrong. Right. And so even if you come at that, like, I, you know, like, I would never kind of validate, like, anybody kind of like down in him but i have to respect the truth and yeah like there's some stuff that he does say that is not necessarily just controversial it's just not right you know right. so um if like i totally understand that um as long as i don't care if you like hey i had this whatever even if you continue to like look for signs and stuff like that like no said, me personally like, the only reason why because like i did a, i did a video a while a, a while back on Matthew and you know I, I continue to say that I do like Matthew Stevenson I continue to say that I like yeah. him for what he's doing Express, I mean to me he seems very gay friendly that's just me he seems gay friendly but he, he it's like you know he's gay friendly but it's you know I it could be the Elish gay like yeah I, you know it's like I, eh, I like gays yeah. you know whatever yeah I told him before like we've had this conversation and i'm honest as hell and i was like look you know i cannot tell you to stop being as affectionate as you are because that literally does heal people when they haven't had that type of love it really does heal so i can't do that but i'm like you got to be very careful like there's some 
quote unquote sons that came and yeah they may have never had the chance to sleep with him but they're getting sexual like gratification just by some of them just by being around him you know so it's just like people like you got to be careful like and that's why i said i was like sometimes you got to be careful because it doesn't you you may not be gay or bi but it can come off as because this like you're you're trying to live through it vicariously like right right i can't indulge in it but i like being around it because i get my fix off of just being around i ain't gotta do nothing you know so that like even that like i would be like no like trust me that's not the truth but it's very hard because it it seems that way sometimes and with loving so many quote like gay f- people or people who are trying to be delivered or whatever the case may be you will have people like me that are honest and truth and be like hey i ain't offended or whatever you're gonna have other gays that are still sitting here like i'm gonna be a son and i'm gonna still try all my power to seduce him and get that d blah 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 like trust me i am not like dumb in any way and i would be the one and i would be the one like look in, into arguments with people like I don't trust you there's nothing about you I like like you're here for this motive and this and the other and that's why people kept coming at me like nigga like he can spot a snake a rat or something the moment I meet you like so trust me I get it um I don't know uh, where that photo is like it's so far like in his thing it might be like in june for father's day or september he well, posts you Jose, i mean stats. jose if you um, find it that's cool um I, like i said for me um because i'm i'm one of the youtube bloggers that like i said i talk about stuff that goes on in the church not to because there's a lot of people that do that do this they want to just get a story just to have something to talk about. Well, yeah. I mean, I could talk about anything, really. But, I, I mean, when things like this come out, I'm like, okay, is is this his boyfriend? Is this his side piece? What's going on? Is this really his son? What's going on with this? Let's find yeah. out what's up. So, yeah. once I find out what's up, I'm like, okay, y'all. We've had our kiki for a little minute. All right. You know? We still may you think know. Matthew got a little sugar in his tank. It is what it is. But this yeah. one is not that. You know, got all the yeah. information. It's clear. Boom. But this still yeah. don't take the fact with him up here on the pulpit talking crazy to people. Whatever. But Right. And that's what I totally understand. Because I know even now, like, I was split between, like, uh, I, I, somebody sent me, like, a screenshot of the video of our pictures. And I was like, <gasps> And I went to the page and I said, wait a minute, 22,000 subscribers, subscribers? I said, what the hell? And I'm just like, part of me is just like, I'm mad, let me address it. But then I, ha- I always have to talk myself in, into like sense. And then I'll be like, you know what, it's cool. And that's why I'm like, I'm not going to comment or whatever. Like, I would like to have a conversation with him. And I even know that even if you were to sit there, I, I didn't know your plans or whatever. I'm like, okay, I always plan out everything. So I'm like, even if he, if we talk, he has a conversation. He's like, hey guys, talk to the guy. It's not that I know. Well, that's what I'm. That's what I'm going to do. That's the plan for Monday. That's what I'm going to do okay. Monday. Uh, like oh. I said, I'm just wait. Even if I have to do a separate video to say that I talk to you, I'm going to do that because again, I at least I'll clear that part. Yeah. You know. And and I know and I know like ninety eight point nine percent you'll still have people who be like, Okay, this is oh, absolutely. but we don't believe it. You know, so absolutely. that's why I'm like, Hey, I did my part, you did your part and that's all that can really go down, you know. So that's I mean, because, like, you know, I'm honestly, cool. you know I I I I'll just be honest with you. Honestly, you know, I can look at this several ways, which I'm not, because again, I've had I've had a guy who I consider my spiritual father and I will protect him even though yeah. he didn't do the same for me. Um, yeah. I get it. and But I honestly believe you when you tell me that this was your spiritual dad or your dad. You know, I get yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? I honestly uh, and I and I'm be honest. With you, I believe it. I hear your heart. I believe it. And when I do my video, that's what it's going to be. And you're absolutely right. People are going to say, oh, no, he's just trying to take up for him. Because honestly, I was saying that. I was saying that. I was like, I'm like, this motherfucker is taking up for this bitch. Like, 
Yeah. They they and smashed. It, they yeah, sm- and it's so like it's so expected because I've watched the Bishop Eddie Long thing like, and I'm sitting there like these boys are saying stuff without really saying stuff, and I'm like, damn, like that. I don't know and I can't say because I've never seen it physically with my hand like my own eyes but even when the pictures came out like oh my god is this him and I was like but these are really PG like photos in my opinion the affectionate one I understood I had to understand because I'm like to me this is normal this is normal affection and part of it was just like look guys and when I posted it like four years ago it was like look guys I can have a male figure in my life straight that had doesn't have a motive not trying to like dl stuff it's not trying to be like oop don't touch me or 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 you know make if we sit in a table make sure you sit somebody in between us or something like that you know i've been there i've experienced it and stuff like that but you know what Um, i do understand also is that in our in our culture and in our community we don't have affection like well not all of us not all of us show affection like that i know uh a lot of times in our black it's, in our black community, yeah, no matter Spanish black families or black straight men, right? You would never see a black like even with their own biological children. Like if it's like some of them are even afraid to kiss their daughters like on the forehead or something, or their sons. Daughters is a little different, but like you know, that's why I'm like he is so affectionate with his with me. Like I would just be like we'd be laying on the couch watching snaps or whatever or he'll just randomly come up and like give a kiss on the forehead and stuff like that and it's very like it's very hard because you get stuck in a situation where just like if i explain this like it's gonna be taken the wrong way but it's just like it's like those things that you really kind of have to experience like you gotta kind of experience to understand like girls who get beat up and like by they nigga and they still stay with them and like people on the outside it's like nigga why are you staying with him he's beating you blah 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 but sometimes people in that situation if you were to ever get to that situation you'd be like wow now i kind of understand how they move and i understand there's so much more to the story you know and so there's just stuff that just gonna be very hard to explain um but yeah and that's another reason why trust me i was skeptical as ever i'm like why are you staring at me like you know when if we first started to get into a relationship i'm like this is awkward like you a man that looks directly into my eyes like that's awkward for me so i went from not even looking to you looking at you into your in your eyes to literally like like kisses on the forehead to like affection to like you know like all of that so it really is you know what it is but i totally well well i'll say this part i'll say this now i'm gonna try to steer away from really talking about that part because again niggas are gonna be like that motherfucker was kissing him on the head he was kissing him on the forehead hugging him and shit bitch that motherfucker's gay as shit nigga and so i mean honestly like my pastor was even the same way, very affectionate. Um, and I mean, that was cool. I just, I see, this is the problem, especially with the gays. And I always say this, a lot of gays don't know how to be disciplined. They don't know how to just have one man, okay? Yeah. Um, but even with this, it's like, okay. I look at Matthew Stevenson like, okay, you's a fine nigga, okay? It is what it is, dude. But I'm going to need you to stop quitting out. Because I know what it is. I'm cool. You know, me personally, I he made a he made a um and I'm a matter of fact, I'm gonna send it to you because I'm I'm already kind of preparing myself for whatever the hell he gonna say on Sunday. Cause uh my clapback is gonna be some serious. Yeah. Um but what I had said what did I say? Yeah, what I had said was I was like, you know, I, I think he's a great guy and I've always been I've always defended him, you know, because I understand he's a fine guy. He's very knowledgeable of the word. I mean, and he's people are drawn to him and I was cool with that. But then when all the, you know, the the cattiness and the clapbacks and and I was like, dang, nigga, like, I mean, because I I did the same thing. And it's like you can't clap back at everything like people like they see you as You know, you're well put together, you're well dressed, you're well manicured, all of these things of that nature. And then you turn around and it's like, 
Why are you doing like why are you clapping back? Like, bitch, you're like a millionaire. And these people are like like low on the total on your radar. Like, fuck that shit. Like, you know, just you know, but uh, I mean, like I said again, all of the 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 fat shaming and you know, talking about on Jack, it's like, okay, hey. Yeah, that was a um I totally get it. That's why I'm like that's why I tell them I was like, you know, sometimes I have to rem- remind myself that you're not even well at that time I'm like, you're still not even in your thirties. Now he's barely in his thirties. I'm like, he's still not even in his forties. I respect him. I respect his revelation. I believe in it one hundred percent. But at the same time, I am different because I'm like life has to teach you. You know, experience has to teach you. I don't care how much God you have inside of you or how much spirit gets deposited in you. There, there you're, there's an age like we have ages for a reason. If not, we would have lived forever. You know, so it's just like you have to grow in each stage. And I'm saying like with that much revelation and and being able to be that smart and stuff like that. Um, it's gonna come with other flaws So I'm like you can't win You know like if he was that And he was smart he was cool and he, You know he carried himself like T.D. Jakes Or jo- Joel Osteen where they weren't confrontational Then it'd be like okay this shit's too good to be true You know like you got the whole Package But um, I understand that like people still need to Mature and I know There's a lot of maturing but um, You know Even with that like when he was like how do you know about Jack and stuff like that like it literally comes like if if any of his sons be like, hey, um, if he was like, hey, you know, I sent something. What's going on with you? Where were you last night? He was like, oh, well, you know, I went to the club or, or I met up with this guy. It's like, what? Like a guy, a random guy, like somebody you know. She's like, oh, random guy. Like, where'd you guys meet at the bar? Like, no, like on this app, on this app, like on Facebook, on Craigslist. Like, no, this thing called Jack. Like, what is Jack? Like, it's just a place for gay men. Like, so that's how stuff. That's how he knows because it comes out of a place of concern. Like, his son just been like, oh, you know, I kind of, you know, I was, I slept with this guy. Like, and then it's just like, oh, okay, he slept with a guy, cool. But it's just like, no, like, where was he? Like, was he safe? Like, well, he's like. 10 years older than you like he took advantage of you like what's going on where'd you meet him how'd you find so it's stuff like that like a father's like asking like your daughter can't be like i met this guy okay where you meet him at like do you know his family like where his mama live you know so it's stuff like that and that's how he knows so much because at at the end of the day like he's very smart but he's very like traditional in a way so there's a lot of slang and stuff that he has to be put on to because it's just like that's not his culture so people put him on to stuff like oh you know this is this is dope you know and so now he's starting to use the word dope you know so it's something like that so it's just like man you know a lot because you must be doing it but it's just ultimately because the people around him are engaging in it and he loves them so much that he kind of knows a lot about their life because he wants to make sure that hey i know you like if something happens or if i'm looking for you i'll be like you know what he likes to go to this club he he been missing like let's go check over there or something like that so that's kind of like usually almost all the time where it comes from um and so that's that's another thing because i was like ah oh, like people are not gonna understand and that was my biggest thing so like oh my god people don't understand people understand and i hesitated even for that reason i hesitated to contact because i'm like people are gonna be like no this dude is so in love with him he's never gonna say he's wrong and you know and it's just it's just infatuation kind and, of and that was the him. thing too like i mean because somebody said oh somebody made a comment oh you're just in love with matthew i'm like first of all Every gay man is not in love with a nigga or whatever the case. That's not yeah. even the case. Yeah. And that's so far from the truth. I'm like, you can like someone right. and not be infatuated with them. Because, I, I mean, I joke around. Like, seriously, I do. I joke around. But I'm just like, if I ever saw Matthew Stevenson in person, besides how, besides this mess that's going on now, I would still be like, oh, what's going on, man? How are you? You know, big smile and cheesing and going on. And I would yeah. walk away. Yeah. And I wouldn't be trying to DM like, yeah, what's up? What's... Hell no. First of all, and, I respect yeah. your marriage. Yeah. I respect your marriage. And you know what's funny is I had made a comment. I don't even know if you saw that part. But I made a comment. I said his wife is handsome, is pretty handsome. You know? Yeah. And I mean, that's the only thing, and that honestly, 
that will be the only reason he claps back. Because one thing he never plays about is Camila. Like, he has, you would understand, like, people have done stuff to him that he, he would clap back a lot of times, but a lot of stuff he would just pass it. And I'd be looking like, can I punch them in their mouth for you? Because what's going on? But if you are to talk about Apostle Camila, like, that is just, like, his real trigger point. And so that's why I was like, ooh, ooh. Ooh, be careful but um it's just because like that's the only reason he will clap back and and honest honestly i looked at it as like if somebody was to down um kind of like a felicia rashad or, or cicely tyson somebody that just that that has such a like a a loving mother Teresa kind of kind of spirit like it's just like that, like somebody attacking like a Felicia Rashad or, you know, Cicely Tyson and be like, what? Like, she wouldn't do nothing. Granted, you know, like, she is very confrontational, but she's very smart as well. Like, that's why I'm like, they're smart people. He has gotten his doctor degree at 24. So that's, <laughs> that's, that's in itself a lot, you know. So it's just like not an honor one, like actually going to school and getting that at 24, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I totally... I totally get that. That was just the, that was a little, a little bad tasting in my mouth. Cause I'm like, I've saw, I've touched the babies in her belly, you know, like I've felt it, like seen them at the hospital and stuff like that. So that was just funny to me, but it was just like, I get it. Trust me. I totally get it. It was, you know, for me, for me, it was like, like I said, I think she is beautiful and that's hands down. And I, like I said, for me, people take what they want to take and they take it how they want to take it. But I do think she's very beautiful. And that's the truth. Um, and I joke about their relationship because she's very tomboyish. Now, her older pictures, she looked very girly, but now she looks very tomboyish. And so I joked about it because I said, you know, she is his masculine and he is her femininity. And I'm like, you know, we ju- and it's it's like, you know, it's a conversation that people have and they are still having. And it's like, you know, I'm like, OK, you know, the lighthearted, you know, hope yeah. nobody don't go kill themselves over this. But it's just it is what it is. Yeah. No, yeah. And so yeah. it was what it was. And so I just, you know, we talked about it. We left it alone. Boom. Um, and so I, 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 I somebody screenshotted me a. I think I sent it to you. Did I send it to you? Yeah, I did. Um, and I just was like, you know, hey, you know, it's really not that serious for me. I know it's not because everybody was like, oh, my God, he going to clap back. Oh, my God, he going to clap back. So what I like I said, what I am going to do is people are going to take those pictures and they're going to say whatever they want to say. We both already know that. Yeah, I'm getting the truth from you. OK. Yeah. And that's what I am going to say, because, again, um, I would never want someone to see a picture with me and my pastor and say, hey, this is what it is. Bop, 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 you know, because, again, somebody came to me and it was like it was somebody from Atlanta. They was like, oh, yeah, that girl, she left. She was kicked out of the house and everything like that. And I was like. I'm like, okay, it was another one of the kids. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to talk to him and find out what's going on. Because, again, you know, I don't want nobody to say nothing crazy about you. Because, again, I'm like, okay, Jose is a person, too. And at least we need to know the truth. And I do. And I told um, I told my boyfriend, I was like, I said, this is a cute girl. It's, it's a cute dude. You know, that's my, I, you know, <laughs> I said, that's niece. You know, I said, that's niece. I said, you know, um, I don't know. I said, you know, he looks smashable or whatever. I said, but we don't know what happened in the house, so we're going to find out. So I was like, I told him, I said, you know, let's find out what's going on. Let's, you know, uh, figure out and everything because, you know, I would just want to just know, hey, this is what it is. As a vlogger, I've already put this, you know, because, again, the pictures came and I went even on your Facebook and I was like, okay, they're saying that they didn't want him to do X, Y, Z, but he's been posting these pictures three times already. So yeah. I'm like, and that's the funny part is that like 
nobody has ever came to me and said, hey, this is a little sketchy, yeah. don't put that. And that's what I'm saying. They have so many conversations. Or nobody even came to him. He saw it, and he was like, you know, like, he approved because he was like, this is literally, like, our relationship, you know? Like, and I'm glad that, like, you, you, like, he was glad that I'm able to receive affection from a man and not be like, well, why? You know, why you you trying to sleep with me or what's going on, you know? So that literally was our relationship. He didn't have an issue. There was a time where people brought it up like, oh, like, this is this is an interesting photo and it was so minute to him to where he's just like like i don't what's going on like but a lot of people would not approach because they understood like okay this is really not it so it's just like they rather talk to um people and stuff like that um and that's why i said like i post those usually for birthdays or father's day or any type of holiday that kind of can relate to a fatherly love or him in general um and that's why i'm saying like even two years ago that like that was a repost because it was something i don't know father's day his birthday or some i don't know and the original photo was years ago at like 2014 and even after this video came out somebody's like hey you need to make your photos private because people are taking your photos and they're sending them like i don't know if you saw this video out on you and i'm like i'm not gonna make it private like i don't you know i'm like people can take it the only ones that i have is like i have an actual biological son so i don't really post him too much because i'm like i don't like you can do whatever you want with my pictures but my actual son's photos i just don't he's nine so like he's nothing like baby pictures like i will post so rarely because i'm like I'm Puerto Rican, and I'm like, Spanish people do some weird-ass witchcraft shit with just a photo. Absolutely. Like, you'll have your damn photo wrapped around some pill bottles and some damn potions and shit in the freezer. I'm like, y'all don't understand. This is very much so real. Uh, but I have the knowledge to deal with this. So I'm like, people like, you know, children and stuff don't. So that's why he was like, some guy's like, I don't know you, but um, make your stuff private. And I, I told him, I had to kind of check him. I was like, I'm not going to make it private. Like, I, you see how PG these photos are in my opinion, you know. So I was like, had we been on the bed with under the covers with no shirt, both of us, then yeah, now you guys got a story, you know, to like really be like, uh, no shirt under the covers in the bed. Like, how do you explain that photo? So that's why I was like, what? These photos are so peachy. Like, we both have all our clothes on. The other one was at a church anniversary, but I get it because he's pressed up against my cheek, and that's not something normally a man, a straight man in a in a well, I would always consider myself bi, but like. A, a man, a straight man and a non-straight man, like, that's something people don't normally do. Yeah, so that was the questionable like, part. You know, so that's why everybody's gonna be like, huh? And I have another one that, I don't know, it's probably so far in my photos, that's also on Father's Day that is, it, it looks even closer, like, it's similar to, like, us standing in our suits and stuff. It's just like that, but just like, closer because we're at the house and that was i think like a father's day like maybe in 2012 or something but it was so it was just like so pg you know like it was right before church i was like let me get a photo to post a post you know like make my father's day post about 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 like you know so i see i see that it's not normal you know and especially in the community like it's so funny because i'm like I, I i was able and well enough to understand both communities like the gay community and the church and i'd be like they both got these you know shit they need to deal with because i'll be like the gays are the first ones to be like don't judge but let a bitch come in with some raggedy weave and the gays are gonna be the first one to come at her or him or whatever so it's just like i get it um it's gonna be very hard you know but i appreciate you actually actually listening and taking to heart you know because my fear was just like he's just gonna hear me and just be like okay it's good i like i, I talked to him because i got the gossip you know like and but i was like Ugh. even if that was i was like you know what i'm gonna take a risk and just live my truth out so that's why i'm like thank you for actually you know hearing me out and being like okay i hear you you know 
and it's it's you know what it is. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, I may end up just making a, making a separate video and talking about this by itself. Is it okay if I put you know you and your picture up? Yeah, which picture? Um, probably um, <laughs> just one of you by yourself. And then yeah, I you can't like anything. That's what I said too. Like anything that I have public on the anything that I have public on social media, I'm not the type of person. Like obviously, if I put it up there, I know the risk of like somebody blah 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 like taking it. Somebody I don't know. Like it's cool. Like all of the stuff I posted, I'm pretty sure you you will never see my like nudes and stuff that I have. Like that's not gonna be on social media. That's but yeah. That's that not even post, yeah. That's not even. Yeah, like the stuff that I do post, like yeah, you can um, just make sure it's one that I look really good in. So, oh, like, Jose, you know, you not come on now. You know, I'm gonna do that. So don't get no raggedy one. That's why I was like, wait, I still got short hair in that photo. I'm like, um, and you can probably see my Instagram. I don't know. I probably have better ones there. Um, but yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, I would try, like, ugh, if I don't find it, if you have the time to kind of go on uh, Stevenson's page and see, like, maybe if you see that, because he's posted it. He's posted it, um, the picture with him, his brother, and his father, and they're laying down on a bed, like, you know, and it was some type of, I don't know, something. So um, that's why people also came at him, like, from the church. It's like, why are you so affectionate? And he's like, y'all don't know my dad. Like, my dad is very affectionate. Like, I'll be grown as hell, and he'll give me a kiss on my cheek. Like, you know? Um, so it's just, it's very hard to understand when people are raised different or trained different or whatever the case may be. You know, like, coming to California, realizing these people are rude as hell, I'm like, damn, we got, we've been here four months, and we've heard, excuse me, like, twice. They will literally brush past you, kind of shoulder bump you, and I'm like, uh y'all raised different like what the hell is going on right. like it's hard to understand when you weren't you know raised or brought up that way um but yeah i think that's cool that's fine um you can let people know you talk to me even if you do like that probably might be the smart thing to just kind of get this because this is a separate situation and you got the truth on it now the fat shaming the clap back that i can't validate for you know so mm -hmm. i can't really be like don't come on here for that because it is what it is you know but the part that i have the truth in and at least that concerns me you can be like hey you know like we said this this isn't this but in this one section with jose like this is the truth you know like if you still get on the fat shaming and the and the builds and all of that like you know that that has nothing to kind of do with me you know like it's somebody that I love, so you never want to really see people that you love kind of like get checked. But at the same time, I'm fair on everybody's game. That's why I'm like, if my brother came and he killed somebody, sorry, but I'm going to turn you in because you done took somebody's life. You know, I'm not going to be like, oh, you're my brother. It's okay. I'll up for you. No, nigga. Like, everybody can get what they get. <laughs> so um, I think that's cool. That's fine. Because in the end, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he's up here. He posted this. He's already starting with this clap back. I'm telling you, I'm like, all right. I'm not, not me personally, King. I'm gonna whoop you. I'm serious. Like he can be a, a person of clap back too. Hold on. Um, he's already started, and I'm just like, okay. So I, I'm going. To and it's it's kind of difficult because, like you said, when you're at that caliber, like originally. He was like, hey, like, I'm so sorry. When he first called me, like, I'm so sorry this is happening to you, you know. Like, I know you're the one person that understands this type of love. And you've been getting shit for, like, well, of course he didn't say shit. But, you know, you've been getting messed for, like, a while and stuff like that. So, I know people don't understand you this and the other. He's like, are you cool? Like, what's going on? Like, and he even told me, like, you know, just don't address it. Like, it's cool. But because of people and audience, like, worked it and worked it and worked it. It's like, at that point, it's like, you got to say something, you know? Like, so um, he came and he was like, look, I'm okay with you addressing anybody or anything. Like, if it, 
addressing it like however you want like if you know i know that you want to address it because you love me or whatever or if you want to explain i'm okay with that you know because at first he was like just don't like i don't want you to kind of be like baffled by it or or see um but at the same time i'm like you know me you know i don't i rarely take things offensively like i'm it's very 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 hard to offend me like it's very hard so you know i'm like it's cool i'm not but then afterwards i thought about it and like you know what like let me see the and especially when you sent me the message i was like okay great like in this message like now's my time because i would have thought about it for like a couple of days and then been like do i or do i not but the way people were taking and running with it it was like sweetie you ain't got days like you either say it now <laughs> or you don't say it now because everybody's like woof, going in and um, and my initial status, which I made that private because somebody that I didn't even know, like somebody recently added me a couple weeks ago from the church scene and I'd be really skeptical because I'm like, if I don't know you personally on Facebook, I just don't, you know, mess with you. Instagram is a different story, you know, because it's just like following. But then I posted that the screenshots of your video and my pictures and it was just a lot of other stuff happening like this week and stuff like that this was kind of something that I was like, this is just not the timing. So I was like, ugh. I'm like, already going through family shit, already kind of like going through other shit in Cali of like semi-friends-ish. Um, and so it was just like, this is something that I didn't really want to have to think or address, especially because it wasn't true, you know? Like, had it been something that I was like, shit, I've been trying to hide this and it came out, then I would have had every right to be like, oh, well, it came out. Like, you know, it is true, blah, blah, blah. So I made a status of just like, you know, the devil, like, really knows how to get to me. I was like, he knows who to use. And I was like, right now, I'm just like so mad. Like, I just want to fight. Like, and it wasn't fight you. It was literally like, I have family shit. I have other shit in Cali. I have another issue, like, of, like, just that I have to process. So this, so now I'm like, ugh, I feel bad for the person that looks at me sideways today because I'm just going to let all this out of them. So somebody shared it that I didn't know, and I'm like, dude, what the fuck? I'm like, I don't even know you. So I'm like, at that point, I'm going to make that post private because only my friends list can actually see it, and I just deleted him as a friend because I'm like, no, I don't. I don't really know you and I don't know your motive. So I don't got to even ask or explain. I'm just like, eh, delete, <laughs> you know? So that was my initial thing, but I'm glad I was able to like talk to you. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to go, because I'm not going to let this fester any longer. I am going to go on Facebook because uh, one of my friends who is under his ministry um, said something about it. And we, we've been friends for years. And um, I told him, I said, okay, I'm going to, when I find out whatever's whatever, I'm going to just go back on here and say what I need to say. I was trying to stay off of Facebook for at least like a week or two, but, you know, all the church folks are on Facebook. You know, they own, yeah, they're they on uh, YouTube and Twitter, but I'm going to hit this up on Facebook because anytime like I do a story, especially something like this. I, when I find out the end result of it, I will come back and if it needs finishing, I'll finish it. This yeah. needs to be finished and cleared up yeah. and and done, you know? Yeah. Now... And, and that's good because a lot of people would be like... A lot of people won't do that, especially if they find out that what they said wasn't the truth, but it wasn't like... You said stuff as your opinion and people like always take opinion as like oh, this is the fact so like even if you said like to me a lot of times you said to me people don't hear the to me part they just hear what you said and they right. be like Ooh. so you know i'm glad that you're able to be like look this is what it is i talked to him on this part you know at least with the pictures and at least with the whatever like the living whatever blah 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 this is what this is you know and i think it's cool like okay you know um and then whatever other issues, like, that's that. But I would... Um, if you give me a moment, I'm going to go ahead and get up and go ahead and, like, prepare myself to do this live. And like I said, Jose, I really do appreciate you even talking to me because I know when people see when people say vloggers, 
they're automatically yeah. thinking mess. Yeah. And so with me, what I've always done, and even if I had the opportunity to even talk to uh, Matthew Stevenson, is this. Um, I do this on a regular. I honestly, now, the only reason why I said something bad would happen to him is because of his mouth. But other than that, I do believe that he's an awesome leader. That's what I do believe. And so... Um, I'm going to, I'm going to do this today because I, I really want, I don't want that to go into Sunday because I know, I know for a fact, me, I'm a Leo and my clap back and my roar. I'm like, I, I go in on people. I go all the way in on people. And then I may have to come back and apologize. Yeah. You do have that responsible, truthful side. So at least you can, you can go off, but you can also check yourself and check me like, okay, you know what, blah, blah, blah. Right. Um, yeah, so, and that's why I'm like, he's a cancer, believe it or not. Who? You know, like, Dr. Matthew Stevenson. And that's why I'd be like, woo! That explains a lot, child. Yeah. I'm like, cancers? Uh-uh, not me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, cool, okay, you, you know, you have my clearance of, you know, like, clearance, clearing it up and, you know, using it. A photo or whatever for whatever you want is cool um yeah okay well i'm gonna go i'm gonna give me probably like 10 minutes i'm gonna go live you can come on watch it and you can even give your feedback on there if you want to um so give me probably like 20 minutes and i'll be live is do you want me to tag you um no <laughs> I, I would say not because yeah. a lot of people will come just to be nosy. <laughs> um, but you can talk to me. I may, uh, I might have to get some dinner and stuff now. But um, if I don't pop on, I definitely would at least watch the replay. Okay. Um, you could let me know. Um, well, well, not let me know. Yeah, you can. Um, but I would probably refrain from tagging just because a lot of people. I will, don't okay. Tag I, me I, just that's why I stuff. asked. That's why I asked. Yeah. But um, I'm going to tag him in this so he sees this. Yeah. And um, yes. because I already know him. Yeah. And so you know it. That is what it is. I yeah. Yeah. So uh, go ahead and do what you got to do. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready so I can go ahead and get this stuff prepared. Cool. Alrighty. Um. Thank you for taking the call and actually listening um, and just, you know, being genuine after the fact that we actually talked. And right. Stuff. Um, yeah, because I so many people were like, uh-huh, uh-huh, listen, and then turn around and do uh, 180 and be like, what the fuck? I just had a whole conversation right. with this person and they didn't say this. They didn't mention that. I'm like, wow. But I trust you know, whatever you have is genuine, and um, yeah. So, go ahead. Uh, I probably would pop on. Um, about to grab the charger since I'm on thirteen percent. Um, <laughs> but um, but yeah. Alrighty. So you are cool. I am cool. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, go ahead, do that, and uh, I'm going to get ready and go on in just a little bit, okay? Cool. All right, talk to you in a little All bit. Right. Okay. All right. Hey there, I'm Demario Dines. How are you doing? Thank you so much for considering DiMaggio Graphics and Media Production. We are your one stop shop for your graphic and your print needs. Hey, listen, we do specialize in zero programs. Matter of fact, we do a lot of graphics. We do, we do all sorts of things anniversary, church anniversaries, business. Um, events, business, picnics, barbecues, all kind of things like that. We do graphics for everything. But anyways, we do specialize in funeral programs. Memorabilia that's going to be around for a very long time and that's going to last when your loved one has left this side and transitioned to the other side. From myself, Demario Jives, and the staff of Demagio Graphics Media Production, I just want to say thank you so much for considering us. And you can also visit us on the World Wide Web at www.demagio.com. That's D-E-M-A-J-I-O.com. And also, you can look us up online on Facebook, on any social media site, Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn. Look us up. We will greatly be there for you in the time of your need. Thank you again for considering us, and we look forward to serving you. Showtime! King's back!